Europe's first proton therapy center was set up in Munich on the initiative of Dr. Hans Rinecke. Since March 2009, this modern clinic, called the RPTC for short, has been offering patients a pioneering cancer therapy involving irradiating tumors with nuclear particles, called protons. According to media reports, one in four children born today will live to become at least 100 years old. What the media are not reporting is that one in two will probably die of cancer. That means unless we succeed in accelerating the development of new cancer therapies, the cancer mortality rate will be even higher than it is today. At the RPTC, patients receive the individual support of a team of physicians from the very outset, experts with a broad range of experience in the field of proton therapy. Radio-oncologists in the USA have been successfully treating tumor patients with proton therapy for more than 20 years. Proton radiation can be applied three-dimensionally. We can aim it directly with millimeter precision at the tumor and stop the irradiation within the tumor. What does that mean for patients? Quite simply, that this form of radiation therapy not only causes fewer side effects, but above all, it enables us to optimize the dosage of radiation focused on the tumor. The radiation to other tissues is no longer as severe. For patients, that means better chances for improvement, fewer side effects, and less damage to other body tissues. More than 70,000 people have been treated with proton therapy. The RPTC observes strict safety and quality standards, including coded patient armbands with personalized identification data. The scanning procedure of the Rinica Proton Center is a landmark project in Europe. What separates our treatment from conventional X-ray therapy is that it enables us to also cure tumors that were previously incurable. This therapy, for example, makes it possible to treat tumors located near the brain stem. First, patients are given a full-body MRI scanner, often in connection with a PET-CT to ensure there are no overlooked metastases. The attending physician subsequently explains the proton therapy procedure to the patient. As part of the treatment plan, the physician relies on computed tomography in its three-dimensional form to pinpoint the exact location of the tumor in the body. With the help of this information and appropriate software, the medical physicist maps the radiation angle and dosage for the proton therapy. Compared with conventional X-ray therapy, proton therapy, shown here on the left, offers distinct benefits. The decisive advantage in proton therapy is that the beam can be targeted three-dimensionally. With conventional X-rays, there is always a disadvantage because they also penetrate the tumor and damage tissue behind it. Proton therapy is the only method that makes it possible to precisely specify, down to a fraction of a millimeter, how deep the beam will penetrate the tumor. This allows us to deliver a three-dimensional dose distribution into the tumor. Of course, this precision procedure requires sophisticated technology. In the treatment room, the patient is affixed to a table that can be moved in any direction, and the beam is delivered with a device called a gantry. Weighing 150 tons and with a diameter of 11 meters, it can be rotated 360 degrees around the patient within one minute. This equipment enables physicians to precisely aim the beam of protons in three dimensions. The patient is brought in the proper position by a radiology assistant with the help of a vacuum mattress specially designed for the patient and an X-ray control precision targeting device. If the radiation is to be applied to the head area, the upper jaw must also be immobilized. For the actual application of the proton beam, the RPTC uses the most modern scanning procedure available today. This makes it possible to scan the tumor with up to 10,000 overlapping target points per treatment. The irradiation usually lasts just 60 to 120 seconds and causes no pain whatsoever. At the RPTC, we generate the protons from hydrogen. 
They are then accelerated in the particle accelerator or cyclotron, the heart of our treatment center, to 60% of the speed of light. That means they could travel from here to the moon in a little under two seconds. The amount of hydrogen gas we need to treat one patient is about the size of a single bubble in a glass of champagne. The physicists generate the protons in the cyclotron at a temperature of 269 degrees Celsius below zero and accelerate them to 180,000 kilometers per second. Then they use magnetic fields to steer the beam through a vacuum tube to the appropriate treatment room. In total, RPTC houses four gantries and one fixed beam treatment room. The sophisticated technology occupies the entire length of the building, about 110 meters. With proton therapy, we can significantly increase the dosage directed at the tumor, which speeds up the healing process considerably. This is especially important with children. We can increase the dosage to the tumor while reducing the undesired side effects and keeping damage to surrounding healthy organs and tissues at a minimum. This way we avoid deleterious effects on the children's growth and development. With its five treatment rooms, the RPTC can handle more than 4,000 patients per year. The treatment is covered by both private and statutory health insurance companies. The Rineker Proton Therapy Center in Munich is the first of its kind in Europe and is opening up new treatment opportunities for cancer patients. Trotz aller Geräte, in spite of all the fantastic equipment we've shown you today, we still don't have a magic bullet against cancer. But we can assure you that with this radiation therapy, we can direct the beam right at the tumor cells with fraction of a millimeter accuracy. And we expose the surrounding tissues and the environment to less radiation. We provide gentler treatment than any other clinic is capable of today.